What did motivate you to try to stop Hillary Clinton? Oh my goodness. It, the, at the, in November or December, she uh, was uh, uh, lecturing at a university for women or something like that. And she put this on her tweet that every victim of sexual, sexual abuse should come forward and be believed and be supported. And that just went all over me. And I thought, how dare you, Hillary Clinton? How dare you, the one who intimidated and frightened the victims of your husband? Yeah, it just, it absolutely, I had stayed quiet, you know, for so long. And I thought, good gosh, I've got to answer this somehow. And I thought, I had, didn't know how to use Twitter. I had to get my grandson to show me how to use Twitter. <laughs> And so on the, I know, I know I couldn't get it to go through. And so finally he explained to me what was going on and how I had to do it. He did not know what I was going to tweet, but uh, uh, he did help me get, get on Twitter and, and decide and see how to use it. So I sat and got my statement just like I wanted it and did not say anything, Michael, that I hadn't said for the last 20 years. Yeah. I mean, the last 40 years. And uh, I thought, well, that looks good. I believe I'll just tweet that. So I punched tweet, and I mean, just like I said in the book, all hell broke loose. It was, uh, my phone started ringing off the wall, and people, I get, there were so many people that didn't know. You know, so many people out there, millions, that had no idea that I had been on Dateline in 1999, and and told about my rape by Bill Clinton. So many didn't know. So it was a news story all over again.